Welcome to the Morning Rush. We start with Kristen Curry. She's live at Balloon Fiesta Park. Good morning. A clear sky above Balloon Fiesta Park. It is very cold out here, but with enough sunshine, we'll warm back to the 70s. We do have winds about 10 to 15 this afternoon. We'll keep a close eye on this, but as far as the conditions go here at the park, looks like a go. And as you get ready to head out the door from the day's top local stories, we start with Fernanda Lopez. Crystal happening in just a few hours. One of the former officers charged with murdering homeless camper James Boyd will go back on the stand to defend himself this morning. Now, yesterday, Dominique Perez testified that he never saw Boyd take a step toward officers, saying he shot Boyd because he posed a deadly threat to a canine officer who got dangerously close. But prosecutors aren't pinning all the blame on Perez. More on that in the five facts. Catherine. Later today, state representatives could vote on a bill to reinstate the death penalty. A House committee decided Monday to send the bill to all reps. It would bring back lethal injection for people who kill kids, cops, and correctional officers. Democrats are against the bill, and it won't be easy to push it through the Dem-controlled Senate. They likely don't, or the, they don't like the Republicans' budget plan either. It calls for less of a cut to K-12 education and no cut to the Department of Public Safety and CYFD. The plan does, however, hit universities with a 6% cut. Sarah? Happening today, city councilors could adopt a resolution to redevelop 50 acres of land by I-25 Studios. It's called the Coronado Metropolitan Redevelopment Plan. Councilors say it will clean up the area that has outdated buildings and unused land and use it to hopefully attract businesses. This comes after one developer had plans to turn this into a shopping area with restaurants and hotels. But developers say the vision didn't fit with market demands. City Council is meeting tonight at 5. It is open to the public. Kristen? And when it comes to the rest of today, I do expect more sunshine, but the winds are going to be the biggest issue here. So that's why that Metro Threat Index is added too. We have the breezy conditions about 10 to 20 out of the south. This is going to be an afternoon evening event, but I do expect less wind for the first part of tomorrow. Might be a little bit of an issue on Thursday afternoon. We'll keep you updated. Thanks so much, Kristen. On to news happening this weekend. Your chance to see and hear from Libertarian presidential candidate Gary Johnson as his camp heads to New Mexico. Johnson is expected to be here on Saturday. The plan is to hold a rally at 3 p.m. at the UNM Student Union Building, and it will be open to the public. Johnson's running mate to Governor Bill Weld will be at a town hall meeting that's in Maine. On to some breaking news this morning. Hurricane Matthew now in a vicious path to the Bahamas. Forecasters expect Matthew to inch closer to the U.S. tomorrow. Right now, officials along the East Coast are telling people to leave soon. That's in the U.S. Death toll from the massive storm is now up to 11. Here's an interesting story for you this morning. Scientists discovered ice baths don't really help athletes recover after competing. The study found chilly water doesn't appear to help reduce muscle inflammation after exercising, so you may want to think twice before taking that cold dip. On to this now, a little money tip for you this morning. With the holidays around the corner, you may want to start saving. According to the Nation Retail Federation, Americans are expected to spend 3.6% more this year than previously. That makes it the highest on a 10-year average. One reason for the expected rise in spending, the growing job market. So you may notice some major changes to several intersections in downtown this morning. Yesterday, the city uncovered the stop signs and turned off the traffic lights. The city says this is a project that will be testing. They will be testing out for the next few months to hopefully improve the flow of traffic there. The city hopes the change will reduce wait time for drivers. Speaking of traffic, how about a check on your morning drive? There is a crash at Paseo del Norte and the southbound I-25 ramp. Lanes are blocked off in that area, so you may want to choose an alternate route. It is causing a lot of slow go on Alameda, as you can see just north of Paseo del Norte in the traffic map. We'll keep our eye on that for you throughout the morning. Tonight, adults can have a little fun themselves during a special party at Explora. The outside of the box party is adults only. Organizers say guests will get the opportunity to experience Explora's hands-on science exhibits, glass blowing, and panning for gold. There will also be music, dancing, and food from local vendors. Tickets are $15. If you want to check it out, we have all the information you need to know on our website, krqe.com. Send things to Adam now. Good news, the green flag is now flying here at Balloon Fiesta Park. Both Flight of the Nations and the Mass Ascension have been cleared to take off here in the coming hour or so. Interesting note, the Women's Nationals competition pilots will also take off from the field behind me this morning. Our team is on top of this morning's Mass Ascension, both on air and on social media. We'll keep you posted as things get going. Crystal.
I've seen some of the pictures. They look great. Thanks so much, Adam. This morning, one of Albuquerque's most notable areas is getting some national recognition. Listen to this story. The American Planning Association named Knob Hill as one of the five great neighborhoods on the Great Places in America list. The APA looks at areas that demonstrate character, quality, and planning. Time now for the five facts. We start at number five here. Safety tip of the day. If your smoke alarm is older than 10 years, you should get a new one. That's according to the Albuquerque and Bernalillo County Fire Departments. Both departments are handing out two free smoke alarms per household during Fire Prevention Week. If you want more details on this, go to our website, krqe.com, or check out our KRQE News app. On to number four now this morning. A lot of people are still talking about the fiery debate between VP picks Mike Pence and Tim Kaine. Pence was forced to take on questions about running mate Donald Trump's taxes and remarks about women and Mexican nationals. Kaine, on the other hand, was bombarded with calls for Hillary Clinton to release her emails. Both campaigns claim victory as soon as the debate ended. We want to know what you think about this. Go to our Facebook page, KRQ News 13. On to number three now. The families of two homeless men killed by three boys are now waiting for one more of the killers to be punished. This after the second teen, 18 year old Nathaniel Carrillo was hunted down a 26 year sentence yesterday. Carrillo, Alex Rios and Gilbert Tapoya brutally attacked Key Thompson and Ellison Gorman in a dirt lot off of West Central back in 2014. We'll send things to Kristen now for a look at number two. At number two, a clear sky above us. Temperatures still in the 40s this afternoon. We'll get back to those 70s underneath the mostly sunny sky. But winds, although calm this morning, looking to pick back up this afternoon out of the south about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Another quiet start tomorrow, but more wind expected late Thursday with another cold front. Crystal? Down to number one now, Dominique Perez, one of the former APD officers on trial for the murder of a homeless camper, is expected to take the stand again today. However, the focus yesterday turned Perez's co-defendant, Keith Sandy, turned to rather, turned to Keith Sandy, who fired first. Prosecutors telling Perez, quote, I can't tell you how sorry I am that you are the one who was sent up into a mess that some other officer created, end quote. Sandy is also expected to testify Again, later this week, uh, both men are charged with secondary murder. We will be live streaming this entire trial so you can follow it as it happens. We'll be in the courtroom throughout the rest of the week. You can follow it on our website, krqe.com or on our KRQE News app. So stick around because we still have live coverage of the International Balloon Fiesta. Today is the flight of the mass ascensions. That happens right after the break. Stay with us.